Hi there, Dallas. Welcome to Smash on Pimple Home Media. This is our first interview, so thank you very much for doing the inaugural interview. It's an honor. So uh, tell us about yourself here. Red Deer Fallen, obviously. Uh, what, what position are you within the team? Uh, I'm team captain. I've been with the team since pretty much like the inception. It's uh, It's been around for about four years. And uh, yeah, I don't know. What year did uh, Fallen start? I couldn't tell you because I wasn't here like right from the beginning. I was two years about before I joined that they started the team. So Okay. Uh what so who owns the team? Like, uh, I the always current, thought that you did. Uh, I don't own the team. Uh, uh the current owner is uh, Jim Hillman, who uh, bought the uh, team from uh, Brandon Peugeot out of Red Deer. Mm -hmm. So the current owner. Yeah. So what uh, other than CXBL, what other events does own play? Are you guys playing any this year? Uh, for events for this year, we might make an appearance at November Ice, but it just it depends. Mm -hmm. uh, it's because the series wasn't uh, the series wasn't all through the year. It uh, it doesn't really make any sense to play just for a one event prize because the point of a series yeah. is to go through, win the little events, and then get the big prize at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What division are you guys gonna play in? Uh, we're playing Division Two throughout. The, oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, division One. Uh, <laughs> that was last year. Yeah, we're up to Division One in all events. So whatever we play, it'll be Division One, whether it be BC PPL, uh, uh, PSL, yeah. or Edmonton Series or Excel Series, whatever, cool. whatever okay. it is. Who's uh, who's been with the the Fallen roster for a while? Now? Uh, pretty much the the main core has been me, Hilton Patton, uh, Justin Schultz, John Schultz, uh, Duncan Charlton. And that's been pretty much the main core throughout the last few years anyway. Okay, so you're, you're at Pimple Action Games today. You guys are hosting a tryout. Um, you know, what you know, what spots were, were you looking to fill? Like, are you looking for any specific sort of position for someone to play? Are you just looking for that all around? We're looking for a new edge, a uh, new edge for the new year. Uh, there, We have a good solid core, like I said, you know, the guys that I mentioned, there's a solid core there that we like to stick with. Mm -hmm. So. You know, we're not really looking for anybody in particular. We're looking for uh, an all-around player, someone that will give us that extra edge in the game. Okay. You have uh, you picking up a coach for this year? Did you have a coach last year? We haven't had a coach for three years. Oh, the last okay. three years. So we've been playing coachless. I've been running the pits with the help of the owner Jim. Yeah. Uh, last year, and then before that, it was just whatever we had, right? It yeah. was just We yeah. did whatever. So just yeah, just filled in the gaps where yeah. you could. And everyone took the part. Yeah. So this year we have uh, we're working on a coach. There's nothing solidified yet, um, but we're looking at having a serious coach that can kind of take that leadership role and kind of run the pits while we're in the games. Because yeah. I can't. I can't obviously do that all the time. Yeah. Well, it also takes that stress off of you. Yeah. Okay. I can concentrate on the game. Yeah. So uh, for the for, for the 2010 season. Um, what are your goals and, and aspirations? Like, you know, we're looking back at last year, you guys got fourth overall. Yeah. So do you know where it was you went wrong in that last season? I don't really look at it as what we did wrong. It's what we did right and how we can improve on that because we did a lot of things right. I don't think we did a lot of things wrong. It just, you got to look at the other teams that were in the league for this year. Like everything changes every time. You don't know preseason because yeah. Yeah. everybody's, there's so much shift in players. Like. Say in 2008, we had a really solid team. We had a good team. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, we had, you know, we had the Peg guys, because I don't think Peg had a franchise that year. So we picked up those guys, and we had, you know, that's five guys. That's good solid core right there. And we had our five solid core. So that's like, you know, you put that together, and it's awesome. We had a solid team. We finished third that year. So uh, I don't think I don't think we really need to do anything more. I think we just need to practice. Regularly, I think that's the only thing we didn't do in 2008 that really kind of, would have or 2009, I should say, mm -hmm. that you know I think that would have pushed it a little higher because we lost one game that we really shouldn't have that probably would have given us that third place seat. So, so who do you see as your your big your big competition going in 2010? As per what they were in 2009, obviously the roster could possibly change on all those teams, but who do you see as still your? Really, it's hard to say. I know we're trying to base it on last year, but there's a lot of teams that there's actually a couple of teams that aren't even they don't even exist this year. So it's there's a lot of name changes, franchises being thrown around. There's new franchises in yeah. for the CCX Bell this year. So it's not like 
it's kind of hard to say because you don't know who's gonna like like the yeah, Beverly the Beverly franchise who's gonna follow that franchise to the new owner mm-hmm. and what are those players gonna do are they gonna follow that are they gonna go elsewhere you know it's yeah. it's really hard to say if Impact throws a team which I don't know if they are right yeah. now you know it's there's a good chance they'll be two or three or first or second mm-hmm. but I I have high expectations and we will go to the Richmond Cup this Excellent. year we'll hope you guys do yeah. So the uh, the players that maybe that they're going to get onto your CXBL roster, who you choose, is there a possibility that they can see themselves being asked to come to seven man if you choose to do a seven man? Uh, there is a good possibility of that, um, but I'm going to say that a lot of the guys that are currently on the XBL team and the guys, a lot of the guys that are trying out here today and in the future, they all have their own seven man teams. There's a lot of guys coming out from uh, Impact Kids that are coming out. Yeah. So it's like those guys, they they already have seven man. They did well this year, so I don't think they're going to break that up. Okay, so uh, you got your tryout dates. Uh, you got future tryout dates. Do you have any other future tryout dates? Uh, there's going to be two more. Uh, one is undetermined, and the next one will be in December, uh, middle of December sometime. Excellent. Well, I think that's all the time we got right now. So uh, thank you very much, Dallas, for, for doing our inaugural interview here on Smash on Paintball Media. Thanks. And everyone, you can catch us at uh, www.emptypaintball.com. Just keep, up, keep in touch. We're going to keep doing these videos. We're going to keep doing the interviews, players, the teams, the owners. We're going to keep you informed. Thank you very much. See you next time. Hot. <laughs> Do I have to look into the camera? Like, my eyes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you're gonna do this. Oh. Yeah.